Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and uh, AI is obviously all the rage in the world of game development, and Unity obviously wanted in on that train. What you see right now, this is their GDC launch video for uh, Unity AI, and I gotta admit, it was, um, what's the word, uh, crap, <laughs> underwhelming, smoke and mirrors, there was literally no there there. They basically just said, wouldn't it be great to do all of these things with AI, as you can see we're watching right now. And, uh, yeah, that was kind of the extent of it. Now, obviously, all of these things would be very cool to do. Now, the question is, how are they actually going to go about doing them? Well, that is the good news today. Today, we have a little bit more insight into how AI is going to function in Unity, including a small demo we're going to see right now. I'm going to shut up for it. This is Orb, an AI-driven character. Hello there. Greetings. What's your name? My name is Orb. I'm an extraterrestrial visitor who has come to Earth to study and understand humans. What hairstyles would you choose if you had hair? If I had hair, I would probably go for a messy bun or ponytail. I like how they look on other people and I think they're easy to maintain. What's the secret to life? The secret to life is to find something you love to do and do it every day. So yeah, that was Orb. Now what we're going to do is check out the, the little bit of hands-on of the technical side of things with Unity's new offering. They've got two new offerings, uh, Muse, and then the other part, which I'm going to let you in on a little secret uh, later on in this video. Uh, Muse is your typical generative AI. They say they're training this from ethical models, and it does look kind of cool to do things like, hey, do a backflip, and then boom, it makes it do a backflip. And then you've got your typical uh, sprite generation here, guided, brush-driven. Uh, I imagine that this is still being driven off something like Dali. Most of this stuff generally still looks like existing AI features out there. Some of it does look like Copilot, and then some of it obviously looks specially integrated into the Unity engine itself. So realistically, that is all we have at this point, along with a couple of websites. We're going to run through them right now. So obviously, they like their orb. This is a fully AI-driven character uh, created dynamically from uh, dialogue voice to the final animation all on the end user's device. So that was what we saw earlier on. Uh, we've got Unity Muse. Obviously, this is their uh, creation-driven side of things. This is sort of a mashup of things like CodePilot, um, DALI, or MidJourney, etc. Uh, so uh, it enables creation creators of all skill level to develop games and real-time 3D experiences a lightning fast with simple text-based prompt. So they are going to build in Muse Chat there. So you can see here, you can actually, this one's actually kind of neat. This is like the co-pilot side of things where you can actually point it at documentation and have it uh, give you an answer based off that documentation. So they basically trained um, a chat GPT-like solution on their own documentation. So it's obviously optimized towards Unity developers. And then the other thing they've got here is something called Sentis. Now, Sentis is a cross-platform game engine uh, powered by their cross-platform game engine, uh, easily enables AI models in Unity runtime greatly, enhancing your game or app on user devices. So this is basically enables you, you can train um, data models, neural nets, and actually have them run on uh, the end device. So you train it on your GPU level computers, and then you can run it on whatever you wish. And again, there is a little bit of secret about this closed beta of Unity Centis. Uh, so that is kind of what we know. And then other than that, they have uh, an AI application. So if you want to get in on this stuff, you apply for the beta. Uh, they got a little bit more in their technical blog post going through all of the various different things here. Again, two major AI products here. One is Unity Muse. That is the big one. And then Unity Sentis, which, uh, yeah, again, spoiler alert, there's something coming up about it. So Muse is probably the one that you're going to be most interested in. Uh, accelerates the creation of real-time 3D applications experiences like video games and digital twins. Eventual goal of Muse is to enable you to create almost anything in the Unity editor using natural inputs such as text prompts and sketches. It is now available in closed beta in Muse chat form. Uh, critical feature of the Muse platform, Muse chat, you can leverage AI-based search across Unity's documentation, training resources, support content to get well structured, accurate, and up-to-date information from Unity. Uh, Muse Chat helps you find um, relevant information, including working code samples to speed up development and troubleshoot issues. This is actually um, kind of using AI to make smarter documentation. And I think this is a great use of AI, especially when they're training it on their own learning materials. Uh, this is kind of one of the big things behind Copilot X, which I'm going to do a video about at some point in the future. Uh, so over the next few months, you'll see even more future features being added to the Muse platform. This includes the ability to create text and sprites or even fully animate a character. So right now, all you're getting is that um, AI-powered help 
out of this. So, so the Muse chat is the first thing that's available right now in the closed beta. And then the other thing here is we've got Sentis, which they say is a literal game changer. Uh, technical level, it bridges neural networks with the Unity runtime with the possibility that Sentis unlocks are near endless. So you could train uh, an AI for your in-game responses on a neural network, and then you could deploy it using Sentis for that. Uh, it's available also in closed beta. Works on a number of different platforms, so like Nintendo Switch, Sony PlayStation, PC Web, and so on. So that is the announcements today. Uh, we've got a bunch more going on. They're working with other people. There is more coming up for the Unity AI. This is very early still, and still technically a lot of the things they showed in that one demo, such as the image generation and the uh, dual backflip thing, they don't actually exist yet. Right now, all you're getting, um, there's a closed beta for Sentis, and then of course there is the um, Muse chat. But it's an interesting beginning for sure. Uh, if you want to check it out, it is available via a sign up. So Muse and Sentis are, I don't know if they're going to be separate or if you sign up for one, you get in the other or whatever. Uh, but yeah, that is today's announcement about Unity AI. Now, the part that I've been talking about earlier on is this whole Sentis thing. Well, it's not actually seeming that new to me. Uh, in case you knew about it or didn't know about it, there was a project called Unity Barracuda. So the Barracuda is a package that is a lightweight cross-platform neural network interface library for Unity. Barracuda can run neural networks on both GPU and CPU for details see the supported platform. Uh, it is currently production ready for use with uh, machine learning agents and a number of other network architectures. When you use Barracuda and other scenarios, uh, it is in preview development stage. So Barracuda has been around for a while. You can see the process of running uh, something trained on it. Uh, so yeah, Barracuda sounds a whole lot like Sentis. The only thing is Barracuda came out in uh, 2020 uh, and Barracuda is not under closed beta. I don't know what's going to happen with Barracuda now, uh, but yeah, this, this description right here, uh, again, package is a lightweight cross-platform neural network interface library for Unity. I, I'm 100% certain that they've just taken uh, Barracuda and renamed it Sentis and are now putting it in part of their uh, AI bundle, which again, there's nothing really wrong with that, but it is a little misleading. Now, it is possible that this could be a completely separate project, but uh, my money's not on that. <laughs> no, not at all. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Uh, if you're interested, you can check it out at the Unity site. Uh, I think it's unity.com forward slash AI. I will have all the relevant links in the linked article down below. And I'm curious to hear what you think. First off, what you think of AI-driven tools, what you think of the new Muse, uh, specifically the Muse chat. Uh, and then also we have Sentis and give me your opinion. Opinion. Do you think Sentis and Barracuda are the same thing? Because uh, I, I certainly think so. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Unity AI announcements. Let me know what you think. Comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.